um, kind of highlight some books that I've discovered or that I've had that I think might be interesting. Um, the first one, um, Paul Hewson, he um, is the one who did the um, Dame Fortune's we Dame Fortune's Wheel Tarot, um, and he's done quite a few books. This one's on mastering witchcraft, and it actually was written originally in 1970. Um, he did all the illustrations for it. It's actually um, pretty good. I haven't read it, but I mean, flipping through it, it's one of those I'm going to read it. Um, so it goes into first steps, preliminary uh, preparations, divination, spells for lovers, counter magic and protection, vengeance and attack, the covenant, how to form one, the planetary hours is an appendix as well as a glossary of which words and terms. Um, planetary hours. And then, let's see, which words? Adept, Alron, Baculum, Athame, Borrow. Oh, wow, he's got a lot. And then he has a bibliography of books, if you want, that he recommends. Um, he's interesting because he um, also... Um, is working in Hollywood. He's still alive. Um, it's hard to find any information on him currently. But, um, let's see, uh, received occult training from the Society of Inner Light and the Order of the Stella Matutina. Matutina. Mystical Origin of the, of the Tarot. Um, there's another book, The Devil's Picture Book, which I have. Mastering Herbalism, How to Test and Develop Your ESP and the Coffee Table Book of Witchcraft and Demonology. He also wrote two fiction books. So these are actually print-on-demand, um, and this is the one I got earlier. Um, it uh, looks uh, really interesting to me. So, um, But then I found this one, The Devil's Picture Book, a Complete Guide to Tarot Cards, Their Origins and Their Usage. Um, so this goes through um, lots of different decks and symbolism in them. And the contents of this one are, let's see, talking tarot. There's tarot terms. Um, reading the cards, where do they come from? Tarot sorcery, the old religion. The devil's picture book, and then it goes through each of the major arcana. And then the appendix is a note on the minor Ariana. calls Ariana instead of Arcana. So the minor Arcana is actually like a page and a half. Um, so he's mainly focusing on the major Arcana and the symbols within it. Reading the cards. So this is the one. I can't wait to read this one because this one looks great. And I just got this one in and it was printed on demand. It haven't, it, uh, 25th of September 2020. So you order it, it gets printed. Since we're moving sort of into the Samhain Halloween season, um, one of my favorite books, um, Jarena Dunwich wrote this. It's A Witch's Halloween, A Complete Guide to the Magic, Incantations, Recipes, and Spells of Lore. I like fun um, holiday books that have like recipes and they're interactive. So this one is a lovely book. It's by um, Providence Press. I believe it's still in print. Um, it was only eleven dollars. Um, cool thing is the ink is in a sort of a burnt orange color. And in this one, let's see, we've got. Hallowed Beginnings, Ritual and Revelry, Halloween, A Pagan Perspective, The Symbols of Halloween, Halloween Legend Lore and Trivia, Halloween Herb Lore, 
superstitions and omens, divinations and incantations, the witch's sabbat, wizardry and enchantments, and traditional Halloween cookery. So the let's see what recipes they have. Two oh one. Let's see the traditional one. The dumb supper. Soul cakes. Um, other traditional foods. Um, Halloween recipes. Uh, Mandragora wine. Bread of the dead. Cocannon. Samhain cider. Old fashioned mold cider. Hazelnut cookies, corn pudding. Squash and cheddar pie. Pumpkin muffins. Stuffed pumpkin. Lamb's wood. That's it. Okay. Conducting a seance is in the appendix. Halloween folk songs and verse. So this is kind of a fun book of just having it around, looking at it around Halloween and just kind of getting the feel of um, Halloween season. There is another one, um, I think it's called Old Fashioned Christmas, where it talks about the lore of Christmas, but it's written by someone else. So, uh, but this one is, it's a fun book. Um, it's one you don't really have to read all the way through. You can just skip and jump through the chapters. Like the one about like recipes is the one I really like because it, it's neat to see some of the traditional things. Um, and then the origins of Halloween, you know, so it's a good introduction. Tiny little book. It's only um, a little over 200 pages. It has an index. Um, so I thought I'd show them to you. So those are the three books that I currently like in my, sitting on my desk. Um, I do have an update though. The um, tarot, the Carrington tarot um, that was was going to come out, then it wasn't going to come out. Um, it has a pre-order date now of November first. So the Leonora Carrington, it's a majors only, and I think it's a kit where it's a, a um, it's the major arcana in a book, I believe. Um, and it's by Folger or Folger Press. Um, so I'm on the lookout for that when it comes out. I might I'll pre order it. Um, yeah. But I think that's it. That's just a mini update. I do want to thank. Um, I did two interviews recently. I did um, an interview with Jeff Donato, who did the um, Tarot D, the Didactic Tarot. That was awesome, even though I ran into some bad audio problems, but that was my fault. I'm learning, um, learning not to do it through Facebook, through the video thing, because you don't get their audio feed through your own computer. It actually picks it up through your microphone, which is not very good. The other one was with um, Anya Khan, who created the Silver Era Tarot, which was exciting. She was very lovely to talk to. Um, that was really quite nice. Um, just sit and talk and especially artists just talking and just seeing how, how it flows. Um, but I have three more scheduled um, tarot creators that I'm excited about um, and each one is different in their own right and that's what I was looking for. I'm looking for a little bit of um, variety in creators, uh, variety in backgrounds. And so it's a mini series I'm doing with um, these interviews with the um, tarot creators because I'm doing this because I want to know, but I thought why not share it with, share the information I get with everybody else um, and learn maybe some secrets about the decks. So anyway, that is my update, my mini update. And I have my little friend, my owl. I have a pair of these. They're, they were in my grandparents' house, and I, I, they're very special to me. Anyway, I thought I would share that with you. Thank you.